Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah I'm joined here at the side Got some birds here, got some pigeons here But that's not what's important Yeah? Stop trying to go on a tangent What's more important is what's going on in Pakistan Yeah! And a lot of uh, issues been going on in Pakistan in the last couple of days, I would say the last week or so, where the majority of the parties have voted to get rid of the current Prime Minister Imran Khan. Now Pakistan is a very strategic country, it's a nuclear power, it's important to have Pakistan as an ally because then you can have influence and control over China and of Afghanistan and ultimately Russia. Yeah, so it does make sense why Pakistan hasn't had stable leadership for a while because of, you know, other interferences. All right, guys, so I'm not going to be talking about Imran Khan's policies and the internal politics within Pakistan. I'm going to be talking about the foreign influence of this no confidence vote. And let's face it, Pakistan's uneasy relationship with America. That's what we want to talk about now. As you guys heard, Shabazz Sharif, who's the leader of the opposition, ease off the mentality that beggars can't be choosers. They can say beggars can't be choosers. Please understand that. In other words, Pakistan is a beggar. Uh, we're not in a economically stable uh, position. And that's why we need to be OK with how these countries treat us especially the United States. Pakistan, of course, is going through issues with regards to paying back its IMF debt, inflation, low currency and that. That is now arming the people against Imran Khan. Why? Because in a book uh, called Sway by Ori Brafman, he says fear of loss drives irrational behavior. So you can see, I think, look, we know the influence and impact that America has had on Pakistan. Yeah, it's post 9-11, we know all that sort of stuff, yeah. But now you've got people saying, yeah, but we're beggars. So, I mean, you can't choose. What sort of mentality is this? And then you compare it with Imran Khan, yeah. And I'm going to show you this clip from HBO. Will you allow the American government to have CIA here in Pakistan uh, to conduct cross-border counter-terrorism missions against Al-Qaeda, ISIS or the Taliban? Absolutely not. There's no way we're going to Seriously? allow... Seriously? Yeah, so as you guys saw, the guy looked at Imran Khan and said, would you allow the CIA to come to the border of Pakistan and interfere, in other words, interfere in Afghanistan? And then Imran Khan goes... Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And look at the reporter's face. The reporter's like, Seriously? Seriously? It's like the guy has broken character. Yeah, look at his face. Seriously? The guy did not expect that. So I'll rate Imran Khan for that. The point that I'm trying to say is naturally the United States is going to be cheesed off with Pakistan and they are going to opt for regime change. And secondly, when this whole Russia-Ukraine thing kicked off, Imran Khan was at Putin's palace as it were and he didn't cancel his trip. Now, that is somewhat understandable if you look at it from another side. If you've like booked to see Putin, and you've got Putin and his allies versus the West and his allies, then if you cancel with Putin, what you're indirectly telling him is, look, we're, we're siding with the US. Yeah, so he did have to play a strategic battle because Pakistan, well, there's a pipeline between Russia and Pakistan. So they want to develop a gas pipeline. But that wasn't the main thing because when the US or UN, I mean you can use them inter interchangeably, when they contacted Imran Khan and said, look, you've got to condemn Russia. Imran Khan said, look, was this condemnation there with regards to what India did with uh, Kashmir and stuff like that? So he was cheesed off because he's worked very hard with regards to, uh, you know, pushing uh, the, the Kashmir issue on a worldwide scale, but he hasn't faced much support. So Imran Khan goes, and this, I know this, this stung them. After this whole absolutely not response, he now said, Are we your slaves? Are we your slaves? Shabazz Sharif of the opinion that yeah, but Imran Khan is taking a different approach. It's up to you what opinion you follow, but what I'm saying is this 
didn't make things easy for Imran Khan. I can imagine, yeah? A lot's happening in a very short period of time and the US is probably thinking, yo, now you might be thinking, what's this constant US, US, US? Okay, the US thing, it has come to the attention of Imran Khan. And let me give you the evidence that they say, they say the National Security Committee has said that there is interference. Yeah, there's outside interference. Now you might be thinking, Zishan, look, cut the conspiracy stuff. Are you siding with this guy or that guy? No, look, I told you from the beginning, I'm talking at this issue from a foreign interference uh, point of view. I'm not saying it's there or it's not. We're just analyzing what's happened in the past. And let's look in the past, yeah? You've got these democratically elected leaders like Lumumba of Congo, Allende of Chile, Mossadegh of Iran. And all of these guys were removed from power. Yeah, they were removed from power. So if democracy was so important, then why would these people, these, these leaders be removed from power? Be it from coups, Patrice Lumumba, they tried to poison his handkerchief. Yeah, Jamal Abdel Nasser, who's another leader. <laughs> God knows what they were trying to do with him, poison his chocolates. Castro, they tried to, um, you know, uh, poison his cigars. And uh, even Joao Gollard, who was the leader of uh, Brazil and Arbenz of Guatemala. Yeah, so we can see that there have been leaders of the past. Yeah, most democratically elected, the ones that I quoted, but they have been removed. So we do know America is capable of regime change and all of this stuff is possible. So guys, as we can see, this possibility of foreign interference is something that we do need to be taken seriously because if we take the Shabar Sharif mentality, oh, beggars can't be choosers, we're never gonna improve. Our situation is never gonna become better. I do understand his point of view that Pakistan is struggling to pay back his debt and the country is not where it should be. But we do need to take everything into consideration. And when a leader like Imran Khan comes, we shouldn't be so quick to dismiss him. At least bear with it, let him complete his term and then remove him properly. What's, what's this? Oh, because there's inflation, get rid of him. So a lot of madness going on. May Allah make it easy. And ultimately, it's, I think it's a good step to us getting our independence and not relying on Western powers because Western powers look after their own interests just like we need to look after our interests yeah whenever there's discussion of sharia law but sharia you you want islam to spread everywhere mate no no way we just want islam to stay in our homes of course we believe islam to be true why wouldn't we but not to force just like oh they, they want to spread democracy everywhere i believe that every ounce of my being that democracy will and must prevail. Come on, it's because they believe it to be the best form of governance. Yeah, let's leave it there, guys. Hope you guys benefited. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.